Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are not going to be doing a room makeover. We are going to be working on a furniture project. So I have a couple pieces of furniture for the living room that I wanna switch out or add, but I really wanna make them over and make them more the style of my home. And I'll show you guys how we're hopefully gonna do that. These are the two pieces that I am going to be working on. This first one is just an end table. I like the round shape of it, but it's a little bit too light, I think, for what I'm going for. And so we're gonna work on that one, but it is composite wood, so it's not real wood. This second one here is a coffee table, and it has a wood veneer, meaning a very, 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 very tiny top layer of wood and you can tell that by like this gouge in the top of it you can see if you get close that it goes like through the top layer of wood to a composite material so I want to work on this one first and we are going to be stripping this table but in order to do that I think it will be easier to deconstruct the table easier on my back easier in general and then we'll get started with the stripping All right, never mind. Apparently this thing is glued together really well, so breaking my back it is. Here's what we're using to make over this table. We've got this citrus strip stripping gel. Definitely gloves, because it will burn your skin. Just a not very good or old paintbrush and plastic wrap. So we are going to pour a bunch of the stripper onto the wood, spread it out with our paintbrush, and then we're gonna cover it in plastic wrap because we do not want this to dry. We want it to stay wet, and then we're gonna leave it like that for a few hours at least, then we'll check it until we can really see this varnish layer start to peel off. So I just applied this and look at it working already. That is awesome. Cause I was most worried about sanding these legs because I really don't want to mess, like I don't want to mess up the shape of the legs too much, but look at the color we're getting versus this dark color. As I apply this citrus strip, I am making sure that I am applying a like generous amount. I used an entire bottle on this table and the other small round table, but you don't want it to dry out at all because if it if you put like not enough, it's gonna dry and it won't scrape off super easily easily. So just trust me, make sure that you're putting enough for it to work properly.
okay this table right here is all done now for this table i looked it up and online it says that the legs are made of wood and the top is made of a wood composite and i did a little sanding right here just to see and that's wood underneath this finish so i'm just going to throw some of the stripper on it and see what happens if it doesn't do anything then maybe we'll sand a little bit or another plan but i'm just going to experiment Okay, we've got all of this stripper on the both of the tables. We've got them wrapped. You can see here like it's really starting to work really well. It's already like the darkness is already coming off. But I want to leave that for a couple of hours at least. I'll check it in a couple of hours just so we make sure we've got it completely coming off because I don't want to sand any more than I have to. Okay, it's been about three hours and I'm gonna take this scraper and test the bottom and see if it's ready to be scraped. part of the process is super satisfying but super messy so while you guys watch me scrape this table I am going to be filming another Q&A video sometime soon I've gotten a lot more subscribers recently who have a lot of questions in the comments so I wanted to ask you guys if you have a question for me about DIY or about me or about a project that you're considering doing in your home, leave it in the comments down below and I will try to get to them, make a big list so I can answer them in an upcoming video. Stripping the legs is a little bit different than the top. I still covered them in plastic and let them sit for a while and I'm trying to scrape off as much as I can with the scraper, but because they're curved, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm kind of going in with whatever tools I had laying around. You can use like a toothpick or whatever. I am taking mineral spirits and just a scrub brush, some steel wool, and just trying to scrub all of the old citrus strip and the varnish off using a little like toothbrush looking thing to get into the little grooves and the curves and that seemed to work best. All right, the stain, a lot of it is off. The stripper got tons of it off. It's much lighter. But now I want to go in and sand it. And hopefully we did ourselves a favor. We don't have to sand like crazy too much. So I'm starting with the 150. And I'm going to see how that goes. Because this bottom down here, it's a veneer. And I don't want to burn through it, the veneer. Okay, it is a couple of days later. When I was sanding the table, it was completely gunking up my sander. Like, it was not dried out yet. So I gave the table a couple of days to dry, which was hard for me because I'm super impatient. But 
I started sanding this side of the table and a little bit underneath and you can see that it's a lot lighter on this side and it's coming off much easier and not like gunking up my sanding pads quite as fast. Okay, that took about an hour to sand, but I think we are finally ready to stain. I'm a little concerned about this piece of wood. It's way, way warmer than the other ones, but we're just gonna go for it and see what it looks like. Okay, I sanded down the top of this for this table, but it's all splotchy, so I'm gonna try to stain it, and if it doesn't come out right, then I will just paint it. I did end up adding a light coat of early American on the top of this coffee table and then I let it dry for a couple days and this is how it was looking. And for this little round end table, surprisingly the top turned out pretty good but the legs, which was the actual real wood, was super splotchy and I just didn't like the way that they were looking. So I decided that I was just gonna go ahead and paint them and I'm using a color called Urbane Bronze. I wanted to try this color for a while and I thought that it would be really pretty. Spoiler alert, I end up not loving it, but this is me painting it that color for right now. Okay, I brought the table inside and I wasn't loving the Urbane Bronze because I put this black lamp on top and it was just making it look super, super gray, almost cool tone. So I grabbed some paint that I already had. This is cast iron right here in the middle from Sherwin-Williams and I'm really liking the kind of green gray color. I think it looks nice with the lamp. So we're gonna repaint this table. So raise your hand if you're surprised that I didn't like a paint color on the first try. No one? Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that green gray color was definitely the right choice. I think it goes well with everything else in the room and I'm really happy with it. Okay. 
Okay, love the coffee table. I think the scale is much better for this room. You can put drinks or whatever you want on it, put your feet on it. I think it's much better for the width of the room with this furniture. I do want to make sure that I mention something that I didn't have time to do in this video because I want to let the stain dry out for at least a few days, but I'm going to put a top coat on of this polycrylic. I will link it in the description. I'm going to do three light coats on the top of the um, coffee table and also the end table because it'll just protect it from spills from drinks or putting your feet on the furniture or anything like that and that's it for today's video thanks so much for watching make sure that you're subscribed i'm really excited about projects that i have coming up and also we will be doing some holiday decorating that i'm just really excited about but i wanted to get this furniture in first before i do that thanks so much for watching guys bye